All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Neela in the bot lane. We're running Conqueror, Overheal, Bloodline, Last Stand, Sudden Impact, and Eyeball. We're going to do a full Lifesteal healing build because she gets extra effectiveness from healing and shielding from allies, so I have a Yumi to heal me too. And I'm just going to heal the full in like one auto attack, and her autos are kind of cleave and hit multiple enemies too, so I think I Lifesteal off hitting everybody. I've not played her since she came out, so it'll be interesting to see. She was like permaban or even really bad when she came out. I don't remember, but then she got like a buff or a nerf, and now nobody plays her. So now's the time to pick up this champ if you wanted to replay her. Uh, we're against a Jin and Ezreal. Ezreal ADC, Jin support. So I actually need to respect them early because it's 2v1. And Jin actually does a lot of damage. I know I need, like... Neil is kind of strong early, but I know I need to scale, like, a little bit. Uh-oh. I'll let the wave go into me. Because, uh, against these double ADCs, I think it'll actually be pretty good. Because my W allows me... It's like a Jax E. It blocks, uh, auto attacks. Well... Minions are optional. So I'm thinking I get level 3 and then I can block his 4th shot. That'll take a lot of damage away from a trade. Oh, we could just, uh... We just fight with Echo, I guess. Oh my god, Ezreal, what are you doing? I don't know if I beat that guy. Good thing he flashed away, because, uh... I don't think I would have been able to beat him there. But yeah, in this matchup, the Jin support's actually going to be stronger than the Ezreal. Aha, I blocked your fourth shot, bud. Oh, wait, he doesn't have flash. Not going to lie, her auto attacks are, like, super satisfying. It feels like I'm just smacking. I'm, like, wiping. I have a ward. We'll double ward. Okay, she didn't ward good. Uh oh. Where'd my Yumi kitten go? Alright, surely he can't kill me. Because if I stand in the minions, Ezreal's kind of useless. He's actually almost dead. Okay, cool. I wonder if I should just grab a Vampiric. I mean, Yumi kind of heals me a good amount. He's going to stop my base. Oh, he doesn't know where I am. Good thing I went behind the wall. Let's see, do I want boots first? Oh, shoot. Actually, I think I go Ravenous first. I'm down to go Ravenous. How about a Tiamat? I got, like, Turbo Wave Clear. We'll do Ravenous, Shield Bow, Bloodthirster, and I don't think I'm going to get a Blade of the Ruined King, but maybe. Apparently they built quick blades on her too, so I could get quick blades after all that and then be like earth mode. Or I could do a, a death stance, but I think she counts as a, a range champ. Oh my god, I almost wasn't in range. But yeah, the only thing you need to know about Neela's kid is she just heals a lot, apparently. She's like a lifesteal ADC. She kind of plays like Samira, in a way. She has like the same range as Samira and same dash. Alright, I'll take it. I didn't think I was going to take so much damage right here, but uh, those minions kind of hurt. He's considered a melee? Really? Okay, I'll go Death Stance then. I'll be unkillable. I actually didn't know that. That's cool. Well, I kind of screwed the wave, but it's okay. 
I just gotta kill Jin first, and then Ezreal kind of tickles. My past is gone. Oh yeah, I guess my auto range is pretty low. When I hit a Q though, I'm not melee anymore. But do I kill still count as a melee for death stance? Oh yeah, we can just check the item. Duh. Yeah, wow, 30%. This is gonna be busted. And Yumi's like turbo broken right now too. Well, she got hot fix, but I think she's still busted. Ooh, this is a dragon that gives healing, and this is gonna be the only one. So I think we want to try to get this. So I get extra experience too, or at least I give Yumi extra experience. Well, I'm clearing these waves pretty quick. Oh, that goes dead. Oh, I actually can't fight them. I don't know what I'm doing. No, the healing dragon. We have to give it. There's like too many of them. They're done before of them. Sorry, it's only like 5% healing or something. Okay, I have my Diana ult. Why doesn't it show me? Oh, 6%. Well. Which might be warded. Bring me more foes to defeat. Well, Jin's out of mana, so all you can do is auto. I'm just going in. Oh, damn it. Okay. I'll take it two for two. <laughs> I'm just playing so aggressive. I was like, you know what? Might as well go in, dive him. But as soon as that turret hit me, I just like instantly died. But the thing is, like, as soon as I get items, they're kind of in trouble. No, don't push the wave. in a good spot. It's like freezes there. If Echo clears it, then I kind of lose a wave. Joy in all things. I mean, I could go pick up Yumi. Is there any benefit to her getting to lane quicker here? Shut down. Besides her having to click less. Water binds us as it binds the hey, Yumi's higher level than me. Champs are actually, I think, kind of strong. I guess perma fight them. <laughs> what the hell? It wasn't even close. They didn't even hurt me there. It's like killed both of them at the same time. Oh, and she shreds turrets too. It's just like they're both auto attack based. So for 2.25 seconds, they can't even hit me. Kind of strong. You just dive him again. Now nah, the turret does too much damage to me. Quit autoing me, as I don't like. Oh. I'm out of mana. Keep smacking. Okay, we win. Ow. I think I get hit by a trap. Oh, uh, there's a Katarina. No, Yumi, get him. Oh, I got him. Red buff? Enemy 
Well, I've got a ravenous hydra. I'm gonna get the cringe bow. I feel like Bloodthirster second wouldn't even be that bad either. What boots do I want? Axe speed shoesies. I'll just get those now. Ha! My joy endures. I love keeping... Katarina Zolt. He's gonna apply healing reduction, but if I the more people I hit with my ult, the more I heal. I think. I'll read this in a second. Heals yourself and nearby allies. Hmm. It's weird. She scales pretty heavy with lethality, but I never see anybody build lethality on her because it's probably just. Better to build other items that actually heal you instead of trying to use the lethality for the healing. That's weird how she converts. Or is that crit? Never mind. That's oh, it is armor pen. Smack, smack, smack. This is the easiest wave clear. Ooh, look at my overheal. Oh my god! Wait, did I even hit that guy? Oh. Shit. Did I even hit that guy, or is that just you, me? Damn it. I'm gonna try and just tank his damage and heal. Look at this! <laughs> I healed back to full. Wait, where's my Yumi? Wait, when did Yumi die? I didn't even notice Yumi died. Oh, this guy's dead. Oh, that's a ribbon. I thought that was Katarina. They kind of look the same with those skins. Well, we lost another dragon. This is actually pretty fun to play. I haven't played bot lane in so long. I do like playing Draven, and this kind of feels like Draven because she's so aggressive. Is Riven down here still? I really want to see the Riven skin and the Katarina because like, they look kind of similar. Yeah, they, well, I don't even know what that, that doesn't even look like Riven. Damn, Darius just like one shot her. I think Riven like ulted and she looked different when she ulted. Her alt form has long hair. She grows hair with her alt. I mean, even if Lee Sin comes down here, I'm pretty sure we can 2v3. I think I can even 2v4 if Katarina comes down too. If I hit them all with my alt. I just hit them all at the same time. With my area of effect. She actually gets smacking pretty quick. Oh my god, that does a lot. I'm just gonna perma fight. I might as well limit test because I know I'm gonna be able to carry this. ADC is a broken roll right now. Okay. Unfortunately. The turrets are still a wee bit too strong. <laughs> I need to quit diving the turrets. But I knew I was going to kill Ezreal, but I knew I wasn't making it out of there. You know what? If we just get enough lifesteal, maybe I can tank the turret. If I had, like, armor boots or death stance, I think I can tank turret. But I just, I don't have any armor, so it hurt. They have objective bounties because I think I just have so much money. <laughs> I have 128 farm. And 13 kills.
demigods, dragons, they didn't even do anything. How are objectives? How are objective bounties falling off when they didn't even get anything? I don't care. I am immortal. As long as there's no nobody in this bush. Stop it! You tickle. Wait. Oh. I was like, why did he stop ulting? Cause he dead. Wait, I could proxy in their base. That would be funny. Thing is, if I actually kill them when proxying in their base, the game's gonna be over in like five minutes. Oh my, yo! This champ is kind of gross. I'm gonna proxy. Sorry, mid lane, your farm's mine now. There's like some Lisa and Neela level 1 proxy you can do and do this in their base. The only downside is when there's no minion wave, I can't hit. No! Don't sweep my ward. Put another one. You mean you got a ward? Alright, that works. Yo, chill, guys. Chill. I know you want to fight me, but look, you ain't doing no damage. Dude, I don't, I'm not even taking damage. <laughs> I don't think Lux can make it out of here alive. I don't even know how she got in here in the first place. Wish I could proxy three lanes, but it's like hard to grab all the minions. Dude, wait, look. They're not even hurting me. I'm literally invincible. I have a cheat code. I have god mode on. <laughs> and Yumi's just killing Ezreal by queuing. I'm not even taking damage. There's no way this game goes past 20. I'm just going to sit in the base and farm. I'm down to play this again, though. This is actually so fun. Like, I'm killing them? Uh-oh. I just went flying. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, so close. It was either they all die right there, or I die. Oh, that was so close. I've actually never had so much fun. And I have Bloodthirster now. I didn't have Bloodthirster there. I think if I get a Death Stance, I literally don't die. They don't have healing reduction. Just a Katarina ult. I think I got hit by that for a second. No. Yeah, I think, I think we're going to Death Stance. Now the armor or or the pickaxe. I think I'll actually go the chain vest. Because I took all physical damage from them there. I want red buff. Well, I have 194 CS now. I kind of stole all of mid's farm. Look at this shield. Look at him run in fear. Like, what do you even do, bud? I'll just let you live, because I actually kind of feel bad for him. I have half a health as shield. <laughs> They're just running in fear when they see me. I don't want you guys. I want the minion wave. Looks like Lee Sin's fed, so I have to try to kill him. No, he's not even that fed. Look at this. He's he gonna die to Yumi. I don't even have to play. I just like, got a farm. We lost to Yumi. This might be... Hold on, guys. I gotta get your wave. Wait, the cannon. Come back. Oh, the cannon got away. 
Yep, my health does not seem to be going down, guys. <laughs> Yumi just keeps opening fire on the. I got the turret without even hitting the turret. Just by proxying. The only way they kill me is if they kick me into the double turret. Is this five people? I think I got ignited or something, yeah. I thought I was actually gonna outheal them for a second, but then I got blown up at the end. Almost a penta. That's kind of gross. If I had dead stance, I would like be virtually unkillable. Oh, I took a lot of magic damage there. I think I tanked a whole Katarina ult or something. I should have R'd earlier, but I got CC'd for four seconds, so I couldn't R right at the beginning. But if I R'd at the beginning there and hit five of them, I think that would have been an easy punto. I don't have enough for death stance. If I sell this... Oh, I still need 70. I'll go farm a camp. I should just pop flash and ghost next time, too. I haven't even needed to use them because my dash is always up. I don't have, like, a problem reaching them. They come to me. Enemy team ain't giving up. I guess they like torture. Or they think they can win. Because I keep... I mean, every time I'm dying, I think I'm giving them, like, a thousand gold. Or was it? Eh, close to a thousand. Okay, well... I like to see them try to kill me now, because uh, I take like 30% reduced damage. No God, no devil can stop me. Look at overheals blocked 8,500 damage. 38% lifesteal. An enemy has been slain. This rune only gives 6% lifesteal, and I think they're nerfing it. Oh, man, they FF'd. All right, we'll play it again, because that, that was actually fun. I bet I could do that again. Victory. Let's see the stats, and then I'll, I'll add another game onto this. So stay tuned if you want to watch another one of these. I want to see my healing and stuff. Damn, I wanted to do one more fight with that, uh, with that, that stance. 34k damage in 23 minutes. In the last three minutes, I didn't even hit him. How much uh, healing done? 10.6k. Self-mitigated damage. 39k. Here's the rune stats. All right, on to game two. All right, guys, welcome to game two. We're going to play it again and see if we can proxy in their base because that was actually so much fun. Now, their team's a lot scarier this time. They got point-and-click CC. They got a knock up here, a cane. They have another Jin, which is good, and he doesn't have heal. But they do have a Nautilus. Nautilus, I feel, can lock me down for a long time. So we'll see. If we can make this work into a harder comp. I'm just going to play safe early. I feel like as soon as I get my first item, I can just 1v5. So I just need a Ravenous Hydra. But I mean, I think level 3 we can maybe... Oh, he's just going to go for the hook. What is he doing? Alright. Alright. Oh, he took a turret shot. Why did I feel like they were going to do these shenanigans? Oh, I'm dead. Unlucky. Alright, whatever. I shouldn't have flashed in, but I thought I'd be able to get the Q in the auto, but he flashed both of them. Alright, we're starting down a kill, too. That's so lame. They play that so bad, and they just brute force, but still kills me. The damn ignite. Okay, they both they both have no sums though, so I think if I freeze this I can get more XP than them. Maybe hit three first and then kill them. 
The Ignite's just too OP early. I always lose a fight when I get ignited. I think I can come back still. That is my fault. I just shouldn't have flashed on the Jin. But I think we're just going to perma fight now. Oh, I should have bought something. Actually, I don't even think I have money to buy anything. I only could buy a potion. I actually just can't perma fight because Nautilus will just CC me. If my W blocks the Nautilus auto, that'll be good. If I have minions, I don't think they can fight me. Okay, I'm three. He's just gonna run if I go in. Feel like I have to hit Nautilus? Oh, he's still at Flash? Doesn't matter. Yeah, I have to hit Nautilus because Jin's just gonna run away. Okay, there we go. I don't know if I can dive him. Nah, I don't have enough damage. Yeah, it was it was the ignite that did it that last time. Oh, I have two dashes. I forgot about that. Well, I'm down to kill him and die. Never mind. I got a base. There is great power behind this smile. Be wary. Okay, I guess I get the uh Tiamat. I don't know. Yeah, I'll get the Tiamat and potion. May these battles ink the pages of history. At least since this is the second game, if I die early like that, it doesn't ruin the video. Because if people see me die early, they click off the video, so I can't, like, have games where I die first blood. It sucks. I have a feeling he's gonna, like, rush healing reduction, too. But it's okay. I think I can beat him. Like, I get to the... I just double kill them and then it hits the point of no return and it's over. Like I'll probably hit level 6 first. It didn't it didn't root me. It does block it. Okay. Where are you going? Why are you running? Well lads, I believe the point of no return oh my god. I believe the no the point of no return is uh is having a Tiamat. Oh, another one? Let's go. Bring it on, bud. I just blocked his three autos. I don't know if I beat him. Oh, I'm dead. He's faster than me, I feel. Oh my god, the shield. No! You coward! <sighs> Fucking ran. I just took on like four people with a Tiamat. It's over. Y'all done. I should have just ran when Yumi saved me. Leave the wave, that's a good wave for me. 
Hey, I got the 420 score. I wasted my flash star. I really thought the Pantheon would get greedy and get close. But he is indeed a coward. I didn't think Yumi was going to save me, though. Because I thought her stuff was on cooldown. But I forgot. She actually has to time it and block the uh, ability. She can't just heal me at any time unless she hits a spell. Alright, we're just going to farm out this Ravenous. Oh, no. I'm down to fight. Let's go. Bro, what is this damage? What champion am I playing? <laughs> I will not fall to you. Hey, even when I die first blood, it don't matter. It's okay, it went to Nautilus. It's just a fast base. It's just a faster recall. Rampage. Okay, well Darius is making Kane not play the game. So yeah, I don't even think this game will make it to 20 minutes. This one will probably be over in 15, so. I don't think I can double proxy. I mean, I can with this, but like, I need the shield bow to be tanky enough. I kind of feel like a Bloodthirster is better than the Shield Bow here if I'm this far ahead. Like, double the Lifesteal plus the Bloodthirster Shield is, like, bigger than the Shield Bow Shield. Oh, he's not gonna stand there. I'm not gonna kill him. I don't need no free kill. You kind of want that blue buff. You didn't come over here. What was that? What the hell? Oh, he did come over here. Blue buff. Acquired. Enemy team is running. Yeah, put him to sleep. They don't do damage to me. Like, if I alt and press W, I pull them all in, and I also don't take damage. That is a guy who's playing cane top, but he's going blue cane. Why on earth would you go blue cane top? You can't even get the form into a Darius. If you want to play blue cane in lane, you want to do it mid lane. I don't actually need to kill him for anything. Oh, by the way, guys, my health didn't go down at all. Okay, now it's gonna go down. I need to get out of this turret. Damn it, I can't. I killed him. Oh, they're so low. I got four seconds stunned in the damn turret. If he gets a Jin too, this is gonna be funny. I just cue this guy and then hit the chin. Oh, he's going to wrap around. Oh my god. The plays. Well, he's not making it out alive. But he never was going to. Yeah, what do you want next? Shield bow or bloodthirst here? Mm. This lose like 20% taxi. I'm going to bloodthirster. Chat wants a bloodthirster. And then it's going to make the shield bow even stronger if I get a third item. I really don't think we're going to make it to third item, though. Like, 
I'm just running them over. I need only three bears. Water, mushrooms. Surprised Zoe's able to beat him. Pantheon's pretty tough. I want to get the Bloodthirster before 15 minutes and then double proxy. Because this might be a 15 minute FF. Although if I keep perma fighting them, I'm going to give them... Wow. Alright, well guess what? I'm going to dash out of your wall. Well, I tried. He's going to have hook again. Wait, do I not have Yumi? I think my Yumi died to the turret when Jarvan ulted me. That was weird. My ult didn't, uh... I hit Jarvan with the ult, but it didn't do anything. Alright, that was a misplay. But you know what? Maybe that's good for the, uh... The game. <laughs> yeah, 5 bot. I mean, they're gonna send everybody for me. I just need this Bloodthirster. I misplayed. I wanted to dash and ult there, but I got CC'd when I ulted, so I couldn't dash in and hit them. I think they're I don't want this dragon, but it's gone. He's dead. Smack. Smack. I got a ghost. Oh, he ghosted too, but it's okay. Mine reset, so I'm gonna be able to run him down. No god, no devil can stop me. Them. He's sleeping. Oh, he went red. What the? He did go red. Tank. Well, I think I got them all here. A penter. I'm here, you. Oh, there it is. I got Pentakill without even getting the Bloodthirster. And there it is. The 15 minute win, Penta. I wanted a base proxy, but we had enough on the first game. At least we got a quick, fun second game. I haven't gotten a Pentakill in a few days, so we needed that. All right, once again, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Let me know if you want to see me play any more Balling Champs. I really like playing Draven, and I could actually... Honestly, this feels more oppressive than my Draven, but, like, Draven, I could start killing them in, like, two autos and run over games. Here's the rune stance, and see you later. Peace.